Off the top at five, the eyes of the world on the G20 summit in Germany today, where President Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin sat down for a high stakes meeting. This comes as violent protests broke out again today, some demonstrators clashing with police. Today, the two leaders agreed to a ceasefire in southwest Syria and pledged to work together to end the six year civil war. But according to Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, President Trump began with another topic Russia's involvement in the U.S election. It's an honor to be with you. The meeting between President Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin lasted for two hours and 15 minutes, beginning with smiles and handshakes. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. President Putin and I have been discussing various things, and I think it's going very well. We've had some very, very good talks. Uh, we're going to have a talk now, and obviously that will continue. But we look forward to a lot of very positive things happening for Russia, for the United States, and for everybody concerned. And it's an honor to be with you. The two leaders were joined by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, who said the president immediately brought up the issue of Russian meddling in the U.S. election. The president opened the meeting uh, with President Putin by raising the concerns of the American people regarding Russian interference in the 2016 election. Uh, they had a very robust and lengthy exchange on the subject. Tillerson said Putin denied Russia interfered and wanted proof it did. The Russians have asked for proof and evidence. Uh, I'll leave that to the intelligence community to address. Tillerson said the two sides were able to agree on a ceasefire in southwest Syria beginning Sunday. The U.S. has supported anti-Syrian government forces in the conflict, while Russia has been propping up the Assad regime. The two leaders also discussed China's role in reigning in North Korea's nuclear program. It wasn't all Putin and Russia, though. The president also met with Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto. You don't want Mexico to pay for the wall? Demonstrators continue their violent protests outside the summit. They blame G20 leaders for problems including climate change and the migration crisis. They even successfully blocked Melania Trump from leaving her hotel this morning. And tonight, questions are being raised about what really happened during the meeting. Russia's foreign minister now says President Trump accepted Putin's assurances Russia did not meddle in our election. That account appears at odds with Secretary Tillerson's description, who said Mr. Trump is focused on moving forward for what may be simply an intractable disagreement between the two at this point.